Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a notification system. Meaning, every time the owner or an administrator or a moderator or anything you want joins the game, the other players, the whole server players, all the other players will get notified with a notification telling them that the admin or the owner or the mod has joined the game. Alright? Uh, before we get started, please leave a like and subscribe. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, without any um, waiting, let's get into it. Now, the first thing you guys need to do, this is really important. You really, you guys need to do this. Um, you guys got to go to the replicated storage. And you want to insert a remote event. You want to name this remote event. Um, you want to name it player join event all right player join event oops i spelled it wrong it's i put player join i mean player john uh, it's join so it's player join event okay so now let's head over to the server script service and insert a script now i will i'm gonna name the script uh you can name it whatever you want but in this case i'm gonna do player Join notification. Player join notification. Actually, I'll just do player join. Player naughty. Uh, join naughty. Just join naughty. Uh, you can you can name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. All right. So here's what we are going to do. We're gonna go. We're gonna type local. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. It's local. Group ID. Uh, oops, I placed it in the wrong spot. There, local group ID equals. And now this is where you put your group ID. If you don't know how to get it, simply go to your main page and go to groups right here, groups, and choose whatever group you want. Go to the search bar up here and grab the number. Click copy. Head back on Studio and paste. Alright, so now here you want to do another um, variable, and now this is the local minimum rank. Well, I'm just going to make a minimum rank. I'm going to do equals, and then in this case, I'm going to do 255. You don't know how that works. You go to configure group, and then if you go to roles, you can see each role has a rank. The owner one is 255. The admin one is 254, and so on. You choose, all right? So anything over that number will be there. So I would pick a 254 so the administrators can also do that. So I would just do 254. And that's all you have to do for the variables. Let's get into the actual scripting. Game.players.playerAdded connect function. All right, and then this is going to be player. All right, so the, that's going to call... Um, it is simply every time you say player, it means the player that joins the game. All right. So now, if player, all right, if player, um, if the player, um, get rank in group. So it's gonna grab the rank in the group, all right, and then it's gonna do group ID. What this is gonna do is it's gonna check if the if the player is, uh, it's going to check what rank the player is in, in the group that you listed on top of the group ID. And it's going to check if that value is equals or greater than what, um, than the minimum rank. All right. Then, um, it's going to fire the, ser the, the replicated storage. And then this is where you put the, you're going to call it from the uh, replicated storage event. And then you're going to fire, you're going to fire all clients. And you want to take player dot name, all right, and then comma player dot user ID. And that's all for this script. All right, now head on to the 
start your GUI, insert a local script, and you can rename it whatever you want. I'm going to rename it the same. Join, naughty, doesn't matter, whatever you want. Oops, I just deleted it. Okay, there. Delete this one right here. All right. And now this one's going to be a little tiny bit longer um, because this one is the one that includes the whole um, the whole notification center thing. All right. So first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to um, make a variable for the starter GUI. Local starter GUI, as you can see. And then you can do equals, um, obviously, game. And you want to do, oh, game. You get service. And then you want to do simply starter GUI. All right. And that's uh, the variables. Now, local. And then you want to do function. You're going to make a function. And you're going to call it send notifications. All right. And then you want to do this. And then you want to do title comma text comma icon enter and start a GUI set core um set core right here set core all right and send notification As you can see send notification just double checking I spell that correctly and you want to do comma. All right. And what you want to do is, well, you want to put this little icon, this one right here. All right. I want to enter. So you can see, it brings down these two, and it leaves these here. All right. And then in between here, you want to put title, which is um, the little variable. And then you want to do, I mean. Oh my god, I've been spelling it all wrong. It's with one T. Oh my god. Title. There. Title. Oh, I just realized that. Equals. Alright, and then you want to do title. And then you want to do comma. And then you want to do text. Equals. Look, I don't need. Um, and then you got to do text. And then you got to do equals text. You want to do comma. You want to do icon. And then equals icon. All right, and now you just want to delete these two spaces right here, like that. Now you want to scroll down, um, like outside of the end right here. I want to do game dot replicated storage game dot replicated storage. All right, and that's gonna dot player join event. All right, and then on client event. So when the the event is fired, right? It's gonna, um, it's gonna do the following that we're going to add down here. So you want to do this, and you want to grab the player. You want to do player name, all right? And then you want to do comma player user ID, just like this. All right. Now in here, you're just gonna say send notifications. You just, you don't want to do send notification. You want to do send notification like that and then you want to do join and then you want to do um, join message and then you want to do a, a comma and then you want to do player name and you want to um, you want to add a um, space and then you want to add two dots and then you want a space and then you want one of these and then you want to do has Join. Um, I'm gonna do it without cap. I'm gonna do it. join the game like this. All right. I want to do a comma. And then you want to do game dot. And then you want to do players. And you want to do get um, get user thumbnail as it right here. User thumbnail as it. And then player user ID comma enum um, dot thumbnail type thumbnail type dot headshot all right comma enum 
dot thumbnail size dot size and I want it to be a 420 by 420 right here it is right here 420 by 420 size 420 times 420 and that's it that should send the notification to the players all right so to test this out I am going to publish this game to testing notification and as you can see um well you can even tell by myself if you look in the corner every time I join it sends a notification that I joined the game um so as you can see guys um that is it for this video um join 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 if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next uh, video. As you can see, join message. The DC Dimensions YT has joined the game. And I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, link on the description for the model. Bye, guys.